the Oyster Kachan in Iceland is, is doing fairly well. Um, what, what we have as a general tendency is that the population is stable or even increasing a little bit. So they're faring quite well, despite having to deal with a lot of changes on the, the past few, few years. The majority of migrant birds in, in, in the world and shorebirds, they're facing like declines. Oyster catcher is one of them in Europe, but here in Iceland are doing well so far. The work we've done so far has been mostly focused on the breeding season. And th at that time of the year, they're producing on average 0.5 chicks per year, which for a species that lasts very long, it's good. One of the peculiar things of oyster catchers in Iceland is that they are a partial migrant. That means that part of the population migrates and the other one stays uh, here throughout the winter. So we want to understand if there are any differences between migrants and residents in terms of breeding success, so if they are producing more chicks or less chicks, and if the survival of the adults uh, is higher when they migrate or when they stay here. So what we found out is that the population here in Iceland, 70% migrates in, in autumn and then 30% stays here in winter. But uh, we found that uh, they can mix. So we have uh, mixed pairs, we have resident pairs and we have uh, migrant pairs as well. So that's a bit the next step that we're going to take with this research is to look at how birds cope with the winter, both within Iceland and the ones that migrate outside Iceland. We found that the breeding success, it doesn't depend on, on the migratory strategy of the parents. So it mostly depends on the timing of breeding. So oyster catchers, the early, they, they lay their eggs, they're most likely that are going to hatch chicks. So, and that's very important because with this kind of warming that we're facing now, they're laying early, so that increases the chances of raising chicks uh, every year. So we have chicks that they are born from resident parents and they are migrants and we have chicks from migrant parents that they are residents. So I think that's something that we are exploring there and, and yeah, hopefully soon we will have more results on that. And the oyster catcher, they just nest almost anywhere. You know, they nest close to the roads, they nest on top of the building, so they, they show off quite a lot. And we found maybe 10 times more nests, so 200, 300 a year of, uh, of oyster catchers. What, what happens with the oyster catchers is that they, they lay their eggs in a place which is, which is quite open and they have the mate warning the one sitting on the nest. So if there's a predator or something coming by, there's someone else to warn the one sitting on the nest. So the big question in the oyster catcher is what happens for those that migrate and the ones that stay and how do they pass this on to the, the following generations. We started this project thinking that they were not smart. like because you drive around Iceland and you see them like sitting on their nest and we thought it's gonna be easy <laughs> but then once they learn and they recognize us they, they are very smart and they they learn they, they live up to 40 years so they have to be clever to to, to survive and, and cope with us humans. So.